Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, today, it's one of those blue moon where you don't really want to smoke cigar, but you're gonna, you know, continue the show. So, I went to my humidor, I found one of these old Palpetta on DTT cigar. Now, I'm not gonna go to do a B roll, I'm just gonna go right into a smoke because it's a tiny cigar. I just need to smoke it through and then. Do one of these review for you guys especially uh it's something this small i i i i don't remember when i bought this one <laughs> it's a long long time ago this is definitely before their like official release stuff like like this thing doesn't even have a seller now i believe either roger or peter sent me one of these too in the wrapper not in the wrapper in a cello and that was the official release, so I don't remember when I got these, but I got one, okay? Now, uh, the information is a little bit confusing. It's 4x48 that uses Mexican San Andreas binder and Connecticut broadleaf wrapper and inside is mixed filler. Right, short fillers and long filler kind of thing. So, that's what we got. Right. Um, I will probably attach a picture of how this package looks like. It looks like a tiny pencil box and stuff like that. It looks like actually it looks OK. It looks OK to me, but, you know, obviously I didn't I, I didn't remember how I got this one. So we'll go right to review it. Mm. That's a little bit <coughs> earthy and floral. Earthy and floral. All right. A little bit of saltiness, a little bit of plum, a little bit of earth, a little bit of woodsiness. A little bit of a star anise. Like how much is a how much is a third of this? <laughs> I feel like there's like no third of this. Like you smoke it, it's third. This thing is as big as my between cigars. MSRP for this is seven dollar and thirty cents. Let's see about that. Woodsy, dark. This is a little bits of saltiness. Earthy. Sounds like an earthy coffee, like Colombian coffee almost. Watered down Colombian coffee. All right, it, it, it's got something to it. It's actually very dark and now like it has a little bit of that sourness, woodsy sourness.
All right, let me smoke one third if there is one third. You know what? Let me smoke a half and I'll come back, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so like, I think that's kind of half, but like, you know, in usual case, that will be first third. It's not bad. It's spicy. It's got pepper. It's got coffee. It's got some dark notes. Can I mute myself on that? I did. I don't know why. Okay. So. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. It's got a lot of notes to it. I would say that's medium body. And the strengths are roughly about medium anyway. And I, I don't think it's bad. I think it's okay. It's just... How do I describe this? It has this mineral note that's not pleasant. All right, the cigar itself is pretty good. Most of the notes are good. There is a mineral note that's not very pleasant. Um, there, but the coffee notes and all that stuff is good. Yeah, that's what I got. There is some notes in the retro hill that's like right behind, like all the things. Like there's something there that like you think it's a chocolate note. It's sweet, but never hits you fully. He never hits you. It's just like he knows there, right? Like it's like you see, you smell something good like a mile away, but like it's far. You smell it, but it's not there. All right. So, like I said, there's only another half left. So I'll finish the half, and then we'll come back. All right, finished. There was not much to smoke, so yeah, finished. There we go. Not being it. Construction is okay. Being the mix filler, it didn't have like shreds coming out. Um, coffee flavor is uh, is pretty nice. There's a mix of like, you know, like sometimes it's like red pepper, sometimes it's like pepper. Um, so the, the burn is slightly different from time to time. Um, strength, there's not even enough or long enough smoke to even worry about that. So I won't even worry about that. It's about medium anyway. Um, and that mineral, I don't like, but everything else was okay. It's smokable. It's very nice. Um, but it's so short of a smoke. It's very, very short of smoke. So, uh, if I had to rate it, I guess seven bucks is okay. Yeah, seven bucks. Six bucks is a little bit insulting to this one. So, seven bucks, maybe eight bucks, to be honest. Eight bucks, this is actually not bad either. So, seven to eight. Seven to eight dollars for this tiny, tiny little cigars. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I personally is not a big DTT fan. So I wouldn't use this as a, as a between cigar because it doesn't really fill my need to be a palate cleanser. It actually have quite a bit of flavor. And like I said, I didn't enjoy that mineral taste at the end of it. So yeah, I guess people can pick up this one. It wasn't that it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. So yeah, that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out our podcast, check out our membership and check out our swag and that will be it for this one and i will see you guys the next one bye guys